Hi, thanks for joining me and welcome to another edition of my 12 Weeks of Halloween. Um, this is the one we're actually going to make today. We're using the Cadoodles stamp set. I love this little spider. This one is using this stamp set called Gift Givers and I wanted to try to use a different stamp set. And this one is using the Halloween Creeps. And this one, uh, both of these are actually in the holiday mini catalog. This has Reese Pieces, Candy Corn, and this has a combination of Reese's Pieces and M&M's. I'll tell you, the um, Reese's Pieces are a little bit smaller, and they go in there a lot easier. So what I do is just buy a box of them, and I separate all of them by color. And I just buy them like this. You can get them for a dollar at Walgreens. Or Target, I believe. Okay, so I've gone ahead and filled the cellophane bag with the candy. And... Um, I'll show you what I did was I used a pencil to kind of open the bag. Well, let me show you. You get a pack of 50 of them, and they're in the holiday mini catalog. And to get them started, all I do is, and then just like that, okay? And that will hold it open, then you just start sliding the candy in. You're going to need two pieces of Early Espresso cardstock, and this measures two and a quarter by one and seven eighths. You're going to need one piece of Pear Pizzazz or Old Olive that measures two and a quarter by three eighths, and then a piece of watercolor paper that measures one and seven eighths by one and a half. I'm going to start out using my Black Stays On ink. And I'm actually going to stamp it upside down because I want the Happy Halloween at the top. Okay, so now let's color it. I'm going to be using the Aqua Painter along with Pear Pizzazz and Soft Suede. So we'll start with the Pear Pizzazz. And now the Soft Suede. And if you wanted to, you could use the markers. I should. I'm doing a terrible job right now. Or you could use the blender pan. So I'll show you how to use the blender pan. That way you can be more precise. Okay. Okay, next we're going to sponge the edges with the Pear Pizzazz. Okay, so here's how I assemble it. What I'm going to do is staple this on because I think that that actually holds it a lot better than just trying to use adhesive. Okay. And now we're going to attach this strip in the middle. And then your spider. Oh, I forgot to put adhesive on this. This layer. So before I stapled it, you're supposed to add adhesive. <laughs> How's that? So when you make this, make sure you put adhesive on the whole entire piece, okay, and then staple it. So there you have it. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks a lot. Bye.